Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. You want to build a business but think you're strapped for time? One hour, that's all we're talking, one hour a day. We're going to break down 15 life-changing strategies, each one designed to help you hustle smarter, not harder. Forget the excuses, forget the limitations, it's all about execution. This is about building something real, something you own, something that gives you freedom. This is about building legacy, not renting it. You with me? Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's unlock your inner entrepreneur together. Look, we all have the same 24 hours, but let's be real. You're not gonna magically find five free hours a day. You got a job, you got family, you got commitments. First things first, accept it. Own your constraints. Got 30 minutes before the kids wake up. Perfect. Lunch break at work, boom, opportunity. Stop with the if only and start with the how can I. Adapt, adjust, hack the system. This is about maximizing the minutes, not complaining about the hours. 5 a.m., yeah, you heard me right. I know, you love your sleep. But trust me, this one thing, this one shift, it can change the game. While the rest of the world is hitting snooze, you're up. You're grinding, you're winning. That quiet time, that focus, it's like a superpower. You're not just waking up earlier, you're waking up to opportunity. More time to work on your dreams, more time to learn, more time to dominate. All right, entrepreneurs, let's talk about social events. I'm not saying become a hermit, but you gotta cut the fat. Monday through Thursday, your business is your party. Weekends are for family and recharging, not bar hopping every night. Look, I love a good time, but success requires sacrifice. You think building a business is easy? It's a grind. And every hour you spend at happy hour is an hour you could be grinding towards your dreams. Remember, you don't get FOMO when you're building your own empire. The real fear is waking up years from now, wondering where the time went, wishing you had hustled harder. So put down the cocktail, pick up your laptop, and let's get to work. The only open bar you should be worried about is the one filled with opportunity. And trust me, that's way more intoxicating than any drink. Listen up, entrepreneurs. We need to talk about your Netflix habit. Look, I get it. Stranger Things is awesome. And who doesn't love a good binge watch? But let me ask you this. What's more addictive? Another episode or building your own empire? Every hour you spend glued to the screen is an hour you could be learning a new skill connecting with potential customers, or building your brand. Time is your most valuable asset, and you're letting it slip away one episode at a time. I'm not saying you can never relax, but you need to be intentional with your time. Set limits, prioritize your goals, and treat your business like the Netflix series you're obsessed with. Remember, the only thing you should be binge-watching is your business grow. So ditch the remote, pick up your hustle, and let's make it happen. And hey, if you need a break from all that hustling, why not binge watch our channel? Hit that subscribe button and join the fun. All right, entrepreneurs, let's talk weekends. Now, I'm not saying you can't relax and recharge, that's crucial. But let's be real. Most people waste their weekends sleeping in, watching TV, and basically hitting the reset button on all the momentum they built during the week. Here's the thing. Weekends are your secret weapon. While everyone else is at brunch, you have 48 hours to get ahead, to hustle, to dominate your space. Think about it, no emails, no meetings, just pure, uninterrupted focus on your goals. Imagine what you could accomplish. So ditch the Sunday scaries and embrace the opportunity. Get organized, set clear goals for your weekend warrior sessions and watch your business soar. Remember, success doesn't take weekends off and neither should you. You want to know a secret weapon for hustling with just one hour a day? Sleep! I'm talking seven to eight hours of shut-eye every single night. Yeah, I know, I know, you're thinking Gary Vee, you sleep? Listen, I'm all about the grind. But even the most expensive car in the world won't run without fuel. Sleep is your fuel, my friends. It's the recharge your mind and body need to operate at peak performance. Think about it. How sharp are you after a night of tossing and turning? How clear is your thinking? Not very, right now, imagine the opposite. Waking up refreshed, energized, and ready to dominate. That's the power of sleep. Look, I get it. We live in a hustle culture where sleep is often seen as a weakness. 
But trust me, it's the opposite. When you prioritize sleep, you're investing in your productivity, your creativity, and your overall well-being. You'll be sharper, more focused, and more resilient in the face of challenges. So ditch the all-nighters and stop glorifying the grind. Embrace the power of sleep and watch your one hour of daily hustle become even more impactful. Remember, we're playing the long game here, and that means taking care of yourself, starting with a good night's sleep. All right, Wealth Mind Crew, let's talk about exercise. I know, I know, another Gary Vee-ism, right? But seriously, moving your body is just as crucial as crushing it in business. Think of it like this. Your body is your office, and if your office is a sluggish, energy-drained mess, how are you gonna get any work done? We're talking five to six times a week, people. Doesn't have to be some crazy two-hour gym session. A brisk walk, a quick run, some bodyweight exercises. Whatever gets your heart pumping and your blood flowing. The key is consistency. Make it a non-negotiable part of your routine, just like brushing your teeth or checking your emails. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it's tough to get moving, especially when you're juggling a million things and the couch is calling your name. But trust me, the benefits are undeniable. Exercise boosts your energy, sharpens your focus, and helps you handle stress like a champ. Think of it as an investment in your productivity and your overall well-being. Plus, when you feel good physically, you feel good mentally. And when you feel good mentally, you're unstoppable. You bring that confidence and positive energy to everything you do, including your business. So get moving, Wealth Minds. Your body and your business will thank you. And hey, if you enjoyed this, why not subscribe? I mean, it's not like we're asking you to run a marathon or anything. All right, Wealth Minds, let's talk about something super important, balance. You can hustle your face off, build an empire, and achieve all your wildest dreams. But if you're neglecting your personal life, it's all for nothing. Trust me, I've been there. Look, I love what I do. I'm obsessed with business, with building, with connecting with you guys. But I've also learned the hard way that you can't pour from an empty cup. You need to carve out time for the people you love, the things that bring you joy, the activities that recharge your soul. Spending quality time with loved ones isn't a distraction from your hustle. It's fuel for it. It's about finding that sweet spot where your personal life and your business life complement and enhance each other. It's about building a life you don't need a vacation from. Remember, success is a marathon, not a sprint. And you can't win a marathon if you're running on fumes. So make time for the people and things that matter most. Schedule those dinners, plan those trips, be present in those moments. Your business will be there, and you'll be a hell of a lot more energized and inspired to tackle it. You guys listen up. This isn't about being lazy, it's about being strategic. You've got limited time, right? So you gotta make it count. Don't just work hard, work smart. Find the shortcuts, the hacks, the 80-20 rule, whatever you call it. Find the least amount of work that gets you the biggest results. This isn't about cutting corners. It's about maximizing your output with the time you have. Look, everyone's telling you to hustle, grind, work 24-7. That's a recipe for burnout, not success. You got one life, you gotta enjoy the process. Strategic laziness allows you to do that. You're building something for the long term, right? So pace yourself. Find the sweet spot where you're making progress without burning out. Trust me, this is how you win the long game. All right, let's talk about building habits. You think I woke up one day crushing it on every platform? Hell no, I started small just like you. Don't try to do too much at once. Pick one thing, like writing for 15 minutes a day, that's it. Do it every single day, no excuses. Once it becomes second nature, bump it up to 20 minutes. This is how you build momentum. Small wins lead to big victories. Don't get overwhelmed, just focus on the next small step. Consistency is key, my friends. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It was built brick by brick, day after day. You're building your empire one hour at a time. Look, I'm all about maximizing every minute. And let me tell you, the morning hours are pure gold. You're fresh, you're focused, and the world hasn't had a chance to throw its distractions at you yet. Use this time for your most important work. For me, that's content creation, writing, strategizing. Find what works for you, but make sure you're using this time to move the needle on your business. Don't waste your morning scrolling through social media or watching the news. 
that's what your lunch break is for. The first hour, two hours of your day, that's where you set the tone for success. Remember, you're building a one-person business here. Every minute counts. So use your mornings wisely and watch your productivity skyrocket. You're commuting, you're waiting for that meeting to start, or maybe you're stuck in line at the grocery store. Dead time, right? Wrong. This is your secret weapon, my friends. This is where the hustle happens. Most people scroll through their phones, zone out, or complain about the wait. Not us. We're turning these pockets of time into money-making opportunities. Got a 30-minute commute? That's 30 minutes you can spend writing, brainstorming ideas, or engaging with your audience online. 15 minutes waiting for your takeout? Perfect for responding to emails or catching up on industry news. Remember, entrepreneurship is about maximizing every single minute. Don't let dead time become dead weight. Turn it into your competitive advantage. Let's be real. Building a business is hard. There will be mornings when your alarm goes off and all you want to do is hit snooze. There will be moments when you feel like giving up. But this, my friends, is where the magic happens. This is where you separate yourself from the pack. Listen, success isn't about being comfortable. It's about pushing through the resistance, embracing the grind, and proving to yourself that you have what it takes. Those cold mornings, those moments of self-doubt, they're not obstacles, they're opportunities. They're tests of your commitment, your drive, your belief in your vision. So the next time you feel like quitting, remember why you started. Remember the fire in your belly, and then push harder. The world needs what you're building, so go out there and make it happen. Look, entrepreneurship, side hustles, building something from scratch, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You can't go full throttle every single day, you'll burn out faster than a match in a hurricane. Trust me, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and it ain't pretty. You gotta find a pace you can sustain even on your worst day. You know, those days when you're dragging, motivation is zero, and all you wanna do is crawl back in bed. Yeah, those days. Even then, you gotta put in the work, even if it's just a fraction of what you normally do. The key here is consistency, my friends. It's about showing up day after day, putting in the reps, even when you don't feel like it. Think of it like building a brick wall, one brick at a time. Some days you might lay a hundred bricks, other days just one or two. But guess what? Those bricks add up over time. Before you know it, you'll have yourself a solid wall, a testament to your dedication and hard work. That's how you build a successful business, one sustainable step at a time. Let's talk about compounding, baby. Not the financial kind, although that's important too. I'm talking about the compounding effect of your actions. Every single thing you do, every little step you take, it all adds up over time. Think of it like rolling a snowball down a hill. It starts small, almost insignificant. But as it rolls, it picks up more snow, getting bigger and bigger, gaining momentum until it becomes an unstoppable force. That's the power of compounding actions. You might not see the results immediately. In fact, it might feel like you're spinning your wheels, getting nowhere fast. But trust the process. Keep putting in the work, keep showing up, keep learning and growing, because one day, bam, that snowball of your efforts is gonna hit critical mass and the results will be exponential. You'll look back and be amazed at how far you've come, all thanks to the magic of compounding actions. That's it, Wealth Minds. 15 actionable things you can start doing today to build a one-person business, even if you only have one hour a day. Remember, it's not about the amount of time you have, it's about how you use it. Now don't be shy. Hit that like button if you found this valuable, and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos about financial freedom and crushing it in the business world. And hey, let me know in the comments what resonated with you the most. What are you going to implement today? I'm seriously invested in your success. So share your thoughts, ask questions, let's keep the conversation going. Remember, small, consistent efforts day in and day out lead to massive results over time. Stay hungry, stay motivated, and keep pushing forward. And hey, if you know someone who needs to hear this message, share this video with them. You never know whose life you might change.